Hello. So I've made a, another cool little asset I think I'd like to show it off in a video real quick. I'm just recording directly from the Unity editor. I didn't see much of a video uh, benefit from uh, compiling this little game level into something more. So in my little box of secrets I have for you this time a mega spray. Yeah, that's right. Just what you thought it would be. It works just like the real world equivalent. You fill it up with water. Uh, sorry, I'm at the very uh, bounds of my little gameplay area in my basement here. So that's what the grid is from, that blue grid, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, once you fill it up with water, and I'm working on a visual way of indicating how full it is, I'm not really sure how I'm going to approach that. Uh, uh, for one, you can pour, tip it and it will pour out. I think that Particle effect is a little overboard there. I'll work on that. All these particles, honestly, particle effects, honestly, aren't the best, aren't as good as they could be. But I was really just work, uh, working towards function over form right now. As far as showing off the water level, there'd have to be some, I don't know, some kind of translucent, translucency effect would be nice, some kind of shader magic, but uh, I'll save that for later. Uh, so anyway, you plug it in just like you would, or screw it in just like you would in real life, and it goes in like that. I rewrote my entire system, by the way, over the weekend, which was kind of a pain. And the, the rotation part of it, this, where you're screwing in the tank, was a, was not very straightforward. Unity tells you not to increment Euler values for rotation for a reason, uh, because they reset every now and again. And you, you kind of have to figure out when that's going to happen by trial and error. But anyway, so once you get the tank in uh, and there's water in it, you can start, and this is all specific to this object, you can start uh, pumping it up. Uh, for this object also, I implemented some haptic feedback, so the so haptic feed, feedback, sorry. Uh, so the vi vibrators and the, uh, the controllers are, are, are utilized. Uh, the, the, as you can see, the, the handle, as the pressure goes up to max, uh, towards max value, the handle moves more slowly. On, your, on its way back, and this controller will actually start vibrating, just to give you some indication of how high the pressure is. When you squirt the gun, uh, the gun will also make the controller that's holding it vibrate. If this, this controller right here is holding the gun and it squirts, they both vibrate. So that gives you some kind of like real world uh, physical interaction with the virtual object, which I think is pretty cool. So anyway, uh, when you squirt it, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this particle effect. And these particles will interact with things in Splash, which is pretty neat to me. I think I just get a lot of enjoyment out of just squirting the thing. Uh, the other thing is, though, as you squirt it, the pressure, the water level go, will go down, and it's harder to maintain a high enough water pressure to shoot at distance. And as well, it will also become harder to uh, get to max pressure and by, it, it will require more pumps to get to max pressure. Not only will you lose pressure more quickly, but it will be harder to get to get up to max pressure. Uh, I, I honestly have a lot of fun just squirting it. Uh, it's kind of like almost empowering, I guess you could say, to see those those particles just shoot off into the distance, and they're being controlled by real world interaction. You know, uh, it's pretty satisfying, and would be, I think, a good uh, addition to any kind of gameplay mechanic. So this screws off just the way it went on. And I guess there's still some water in there. I, I really should play with that particle effect a little bit more. But it's just rough and dirty. And I'm going to fill the tank back up to show you another fe feature. Oh, little Kev's playing. Neat. <laughs> uh, those steam alerts are so awesome. All right, so here's uh, Dick Butt. He's still alive. I'm actually working on animating him. So my next video will be bringing him to life. I actually have an animation already, but I'm not going to show that off right now. It's kind of disturbing. Uh, and so anyway, back to the gun. So the other feature I have implemented is that when the stream of particles, uh, specific to this, the squirt gun, the stream of particles being squirted, when they hit an interactive object, they will impart a force on them. So I can squirt dick butt and he will feel it, which I think is pretty neat. Get him in the dick. <laughs> Uh, and honestly, when I get it up to max pressure, I think that's that's more of akin to like a water or a garden hose or like, uh, I don't know, even a fire hose maybe. 
uh, more than a score count. So again, these are all variables that I can just easily modify. But that's my new asset, and I thought you guys might find it, uh, you might find it in interesting. Uh, again, I'm gonna be working on bringing dip, dip, dick butt to life, and I've got some uh, ideas for a magic wand. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.